Before we attach a sole to the base of a shoe, we need to make sure that we've filled any gap we have from our uppers and stiffeners and the leather in general. If I were to put my sole straight on here, there would be a bit of a divot in the bottom of the sole. So let me show you how I'm gonna fill it using a piece of cork. So I've got some tissue paper here, but any paper you have is just fine. And I just pretty much place it on the bottom and using a pencil, I'm just gonna roughly mark out the area that I need to fill. Once you've cut out your rough pattern, you can trace it onto a piece of cork. Now, before we glue in our cork, we just wanna place it on the base of the shoe and make sure it fits in that area nicely. Once you're happy with the fit, you can go ahead and glue the cork into place. To do this, I'm using my non-toxic water-based glue. Once that's had a little bit of time to dry, you can go ahead and place the cork into the gap. And then using either your safety beveler or a piece of sandpaper, you can smooth the edges to make sure that you have in fact created a flat surface and that you don't now have a bulge of cork. Now, if you're wondering why I haven't put the cork all the way to the back, it's because this shoe is actually a sling back, which means it doesn't have a back section and there's no gap to fill. We're trying to create a completely flat surface for our sole to go on. So what I've done is just taken the cork and sort of eased it down into nothing so that when I build up my sole at the bottom, it's got a nice flat surface to work with. 